guys. So today's video is going to be a talk through makeup look on this look right here. And I'm basically showing you my favorite like bulletproof makeup. Makeup that lasts all day on my face. If I want to go somewhere and I know I'm going to be out all night, I'll usually use these products and just change them up. These are formulas that work really, really well for staying in place for a long time, at least on my skin. I'm also going to be giving you a few like tips and tricks on how to like apply things and make them last longer and all that stuff. So you guys know that I'm always very, very open, very, very honest on my channel. And this video is sponsored by Skindinavia. If you guys are not into sponsored videos, which I completely 100% understand, then uh, stay tuned for ne my next video that won't be sponsored because this one might not be for you. I will be using other brands in this video besides Scandinavia, but this video is partnered with them and I was very, very excited because I love Scandinavia since I started YouTube. So yeah, I'm mainly going to be talking about these two products from Scandinavia. These are the... Um, Sprays. This is the primer spray and the makeup finishing spray. I'm sure you guys have heard of Skinnavia because a lot of people use them as makeup finishers and they really make your makeup last all day. This is actually one that I purchased myself. This one was sent by Skinnavia, but this one I purchased myself. When If you guys saw my iMats haul, like my old iMats haul, I bought it while I was at iMats. And I take this with me every single time I travel. You guys don't see me use this on my channel at all. But every time I go to Miami or California, this bad boy comes with me because it works. And honestly, when I do tutorials on my channel, I'm usually just home. And I'll wear that makeup for the rest of the day. But I don't really need it to last all day because 9 times out of 10, I stay home. <laughs> I don't do anything. Ever. Um, so I don't really show you guys me putting on like finishing sprays. Because I even spray like setting sprays when I'm done with my makeup, but I never do it in my videos because I just don't think about it. So actually the story behind Scandinavia is really, really cool. The founder of Scandinavia actually came up with the idea to make these products. This is fairly new, but came up with the idea to make like a finishing spray when he was in Miami, like nightclubs in Miami. And I live in Miami, I'm from Miami. So it, it's kind of funny to hear that story because he noticed that girls' makeup, like, in the nightclub, like, at the end of the night, their makeup looked like it was kind of, like, melting off, like, just sweating off, which is understandable. It's a nightclub. It gets sweaty in there. I hear. I've actually never been to a club. Side note. Never, ever been to a club in my life, and I'm 23. Anyway, so he would go to Miami nightclubs, and he would notice that makeup on women were, was not really lasting, and it was just melting off. So he thought of the idea to create his own line of makeup finishing sprays and you guys know people swear by Scandinavia and they're actually a very very good brand. Scandinavia actually uses like temperature control technology I don't know how they do but they do which makes your makeup last all day in heat or humidity because it's just it's just made to control the oils that shine through. The primer I'm not gonna lie this is best for normal to oily skin, normal combination to oily skin. I have dry skin and I still use this, but I only use this when I know I need my makeup to last all day. This is silicone free by the way, and it won't clog your pores. Sometimes silicone can clog your pores a little bit. So yeah, enough rambling. I'm going to leave a link down below where you can purchase Scandinavia products. I do have a promo code with Scandinavia. I will leave it down below. I believe it's like bridal or something like that. I will leave the promo code down below. It helps you get 10% off plus two travel size sprays plus free US shipping, which is a really, really good deal. Really good deal. Um, it's not an affiliate link. I just want to point, point that out. If you click the link and buy something, I do not get paid to, if you click the link, I'm not affiliated. It's sponsored by Scandinavia, but I'm not affiliated with that link. So um, I think it's a good deal. If you want to try out these sprays, then click the link. Don't forget to click the link. And uh, yeah, use the promo code. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have already started out with moisturizer on my face. Now I'm going to use the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. So you want to make sure that when you spray this, you're pretty far away. You don't want to spray it like right here because you'll just have like a big blobby wet mess. Blobby wet mess. Moving on to foundation. I love using my Revlon Colorstay foundation 
Honestly, it's probably the one that lasts the most on my face, aside from the Makeup Forever Face and Body. This one is like glue as well, but it's kind of luminous and lightweight. Lightweight, is lightweight. I use the one that's for normal to dry skin, for obvious reasons, but if you have really oily skin, I would use just the regular one. And I'm just gonna, it's a little bit dark, it's a little bit dark, so I'm just gonna mix it in. I'm just gonna mix it like a hair, <laughs> just a hair of my 150. This foundation is really full coverage, so I like it when I'm going out to places. Um, and it does have SPF 15, but I don't think it looks bad in photography. Like sometimes, Foundations will give a really like gross flashback, but I really don't think that this one does For concealers when I want a bulletproof concealer look I have two that I really love That is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer or the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer These two once they set they go nowhere. They dry it down to like a matte but natural finish It's not dewy. It's not cakey and it doesn't fade throughout the day. These concealers are the best Today I'm going to use the Pro Longwear in NW20. I'm going to use the Real Techniques contour brush to apply that underneath my eyes. And usually like on a day-to-day -day basis, I will just drag this up onto my eyelids and use this as my um, eyeshadow primer. But I'm not going to do that today because when I want my makeup to last, like my eye makeup to last all day, I like to go in with an actual eyelid primer because that works a little bit better for me. Okay, so you guys know I don't typically set my face because my skin is so dry. But for the sake of this video, I am going to set my face. And especially if you have normal to oily skin, you want to set your face, even if you have dry skin. It's just going to prolong the wear of your makeup. So I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in Translucent. I'm going to set my concealer with this and set the rest of my face just a little bit with this powder. I don't find it to be very, very translucent, like it's a little bit white, but if you use it gently, it serves its purpose. I actually really like it. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyes really quick before I finish the rest of my face. Okay, so for my eyes, I find because my eyelids are so dry that a lot of eyeshadow like lasts a really long time. But sometimes it's a little tricky when you have oily eyelids for your makeup to last all day on the eyes. I have found the best primer for that is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This will not let any of your eyeshadows crease. So your eyeshadow will stay intact the entire day. It's kind of scary. If you really want to take the extra step, I recommend using cream eyeshadows. Um, more so like MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots. Are they called Pro Longwear or just regular paint pots? Paint Pots. MAC Paint Pots. But I find that even these last longer than paint pots. These are the Maybelline Color Tattoos 24 hour cream eyeshadows. Color tattoos. So I am going to use this, I'm going to use the one in chocolate suede, but really quickly I want to apply a crease color. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is a tried and true, my favorite palette in the world. These eyeshadows last on my eyelids and they're just fabulous. So I highly recommend this palette. I'm going to take this Morphe E27 and dip it into this regular like brown shade. Wait, can you see that? Yeah. I'm doing a really, really easy look for today because I want to mainly focus this look on the face makeup, like how to make your face makeup last all day. By the way, I woke up today and I sound like a boy. Do I sound like a boy? Do I, sound, I don't know why. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not sick. I just woke, woke up with like a very raspy voice today. With that same brown color, I'm going to take it onto my lower lash line. By the way, that brown color is called milk chocolate. Forgot to say that. Okay, so for eyeliner, you're gonna want to find an eyeliner that 
really, really holds well in your waterline, whether that be a waterproof one. It doesn't matter. Everybody's eyelids are different and everybody's waterline is different, I feel. So it's just about trial and error. I would recommend trying ones that say waterproof or like smudge proof and use those eyeliners in the waterline. Those tend to last longer. This isn't waterproof, but it stays a long time on my waterline. This is the NYX Gel Pencil Liner in black. And I'm just gonna line my waterline with this. And then a trick I always do, a lot of people don't like say that this is bad, but I've never had a problem doing this. A trick I always do is take eyeshadow and kind of set that eyeliner that we put down. Not like directly in the waterline, but I try to get it as close as possible to just set the cream and it lasts a lot longer. So I'm gonna take this dark, dark brown color called Amaretto. No, it's called Triple Fudge. <laughs> Triple Fudge. And I'm gonna apply this really close. Okay, so now for the eyeshadow. Like I said, I'm gonna use this color tattoo in chocolate suede. This is a Zoeva concealer buffer brush. And I'm just gonna pump, pump, what? I'm just gonna do this. And then apply it to my lid. Let's pick up some more product. I'll blend it out in a second. back in with, is there hair on this? I should, like a dog. Back into milk chocolate with this Morphe brush. I'm just gonna blend everything out again. Okay, so I just added a little bit more of that dark brown just to balance everything out. Earlier when I said I was doing a simple look, I meant easy, not natural, obviously. I'm just gonna quickly highlight with this color right here. This is white chocolate. And then champagne, champagne. <laughs> champagne truffle for the inner corner. Then I'm applying mascara. Honestly, just use your favorite like waterproof mascara or your, just your favorite mascara that you know doesn't flake throughout the day and lasts and holds a curl. So I'm just gonna apply my Maybelline the Colossal Volume and then I'll finish the rest of my face. Okay, so now I'm going to finish off my face. I'm sorry, this video is so long already. I'm actually gonna apply a cream highlight to my cheeks first. You never should put cream over powder and I already powdered my face. But I find that this doesn't really disturb what's underneath. I'm gonna use my cream color base in shell from MAC and I'm gonna apply this to my cheekbones because a really good tip on making your highlight last all day is to layer your highlights. So I would suggest putting a cream underneath. Creams usually last longer than powders and then put a powder on top to kind of set it and your highlight will stay Jennifer Lopez-y all day. For contour, I'm just gonna quickly contour my cheekbones and really, really lightly. I mainly wanna focus on the bronzer I'm gonna use next, but to contour, I'm gonna use the Caramel Toffee Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, and I'm gonna use the contour side, obviously. Just very lightly. This is a Morphe E3. just to create kind of like a shadow on my face because I mainly wanna focus this look on some nice bronzer, but this is going to just carve out the cheekbones a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, it just kind of gives a little bit of definition. So with the same brush, I'm going to bronze up my skin. And when I want my bronzer to last all day, this works. This is the Too Faced Endless Summer Bronzer. It is a 16 hour long wear bronzer. So it's supposed to last 16 hours on your skin. I've never tried it for 16 hours, but it does stay on my face the entire day when I use it. 
So I'm just gonna rub my brush in it and just bronze up my cheeks. It is matte, you can go ahead and contour with this, but it's a little bit, it's neutral, so you can contour with this, but I just wanted to add a little bit more contour. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to blush. And these are the best blushes if you want it to last all day. I keep talking about all day, all day, but I'm a little repetitive. <laughs> blush is the first thing to go. Like when you put on your makeup, at the end of the day, usually you can't even see your blush. Like blush is the number one thing to fade on your face. To fade on your face, yes. So I'm gonna use the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. These blushes last forever on my cheeks. Any color works. They have a huge selection of colors. And I'm just gonna use this one. It was like the limited edition Tartlet one in the shade Celebrated because you know my, my eyes are dark. I don't wanna go like super pink. Just gonna clean off this brush on a towel, the same brush I was using and use it as blush. I'm obsessed with this brush. Side note, Morphe E3. If you haven't tried these 12 hour blushes, they're good. Just gonna add a little bit of color. And honestly, what I would recommend, if you are putting on um, blush and you're not gonna touch up your face, like if you have, if you have to do your makeup and make sure that it lasts all day, I recommend putting a little bit more blush than you usually would. And now I'm just gonna set that highlight I put down using the Hourglass Luminous Light. And I'm using this one because it's actually pretty natural and it doesn't look super frosty on the cheeks. I have a lot of lip liners. I am a lip liner junkie, but to me, the lip liners that last forever on my face are these um, LA Girl Endless Semi-Permanent Auto Lip Liner. Long lasting all day wear. They're not kidding. These semi-permanent, are like semi-permanent. This is in the shade Natural. I'm just gonna line my lips. These are so affordable and they're so long wearing. Now because I don't want my lips to be this dark at all, um, like it's too dark for this look, I think you could, I mean, whatever. I'm gonna take the Stila All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rosa, Rosa, and put it on top. Liquid lipsticks in general will be your best friend if you want your makeup to last all day and you don't want to retouch your lip product because they're like cement and they don't go anywhere. So I'm going to actually put some on my finger and blend this in. If you want to throw on a gloss, you can. Just keep your gloss in your purse and retouch throughout the day since glosses don't last as long as like matte products do. So now for the most important step, honestly, I think it's even more important than the primer spray. It's the finishing spray. This is just gonna set everything in place and make your makeup last all day. This Scandinavia finishing spray is no joke. So I'm just gonna shake it. And spray. And while that dries, sip my coffee. It takes a minute or two to fully dry, but that completes this makeup look. It's nice and glowy and it'll stay that way the whole day. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below if you did. And also, so that we can all talk and all, you know, read each other's comments, leave a comment down below what your number one bulletproof like makeup item is. Your number one item that you use that you're like, wow, this is super long wearing and I love it because it lasts all day. Leave it below, I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Forgot to mention, um, whenever I do a sponsored video from now on, I don't do them very often, but whenever I do, just so that I have three non-sponsored videos going up on my channel a week at all times. There will be a new video tomorrow on my channel that is not sponsored. <laughs> Um, so there will be four videos up this week just because I feel like I want to show you guys that I'm not all about that sponsored life, so I want to give, I don't know, but just keep in mind. So from now on, if I ever do a sponsored video, there will be an extra video up that week. So thank you guys so much for watching. I already said that. Now I'm going for real. Okay, bye.